Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Alexandra here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope the new year is treating you all well and you've had a healthy and happy start to 2024. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I normally try and stay positive and optimistic about my braces journey because I feel like it's one of the best things I've ever done for myself um just because of you know there's so many benefits um really positive benefits um to, to having braces but I haven't yet discussed the I don't want to say downside but the cons um, of having braces and as I'm going further along in this whole journey um, as cheesy and as corny as that word sounds it really is a journey um, I'm discovering that there is quite a few cons to wearing braces um, so yeah I'm just gonna jump straight in there um, and basically give you a little backstory of why I decided to do this video um and it's basically because as you'll know i updated um three weeks ago when i got my second braces tightening and I, I recorded a brief video for you all um you know after i had my tightening done the first tightening i had done it was uncomfortable um during the actual tightening process which is to be expected, a little bit of discomfort is to be expected. However, the, the second one that I had three weeks ago, I would go as far to say as it was excruciating um, as he was doing it. And there is um, a reason for that, um, which I found out later on, which I will get to. But I have, so this tooth, this tooth and this one, those three teeth are incredibly sensitive um, from the pressure of the braces. For, for whatever reason, those teeth are just being affected more by the pressure. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just the pressure um, is affecting those three teeth more than the other teeth. It's causing a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain, especially during the tightening. Um, in the early days after the tightening, it's very, very painful. And I've heard a lot that as the tightenings go on, you obviously because you, there's less um, less movement for your teeth to to do, it gets more comfortable, right? And that makes sense. Um, but where I am at now, I'm feeling a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain. Um, one week after my tightening. Um, I developed very painful nerve pain. It was so painful that, well, it, I would describe it as more painful than the nerve pain I had when I had my dry socket. And I didn't think that there was anything that could beat that kind of nerve pain, but this did, unfortunately. And it really did put, um, it put a dampener on things because like I said, I've been so positive and so optimistic about this all and then when that happened and the pain wasn't going away and I was in all this pain um I did kind of panic a little bit and be I did have that split second of what have I done have I have I made the wrong decision here it was just a split second but but it happened I thought of it and yeah um so for that, obviously, I had to go to my dentist because I was panicking about it. I was thinking all kinds of things had gone wrong. And luckily and thankfully, there is nothing wrong with my teeth or my braces. He did x-rays. He checked my teeth. My teeth are moving a little bit too well. Um, and because they're moving so fast in such a short space of time, it's causing a lot of pressure on my teeth. And as I mentioned, those three teeth are particularly very sensitive anyway. Those are the three teeth that are causing currently the nerve pain that I'm experiencing. Even right now, I have it. So in regards of cons, um, 
it's not just because I developed sudden nerve pain, um, but it's more that um, I was expecting by now to be more comfortable in my braces. Um, the thing that I've noticed is I'm very confident now in my braces and I love showing them off and I am getting used to them a little bit. Um, but as far as the fact that I constantly have ulcers in my mouth, the fact that I can't really eat properly, I mean, I can't bite into anything, not even anything really soft. I try biting into like, for example, a brioche bun, a really soft brioche buttery bun, and I can't even manage that. Um, it's been three and a half months now, and I would have expected by now to be able to bite into things, at least soft things, right? Um, to be able to chew my food properly. I can't chew my food properly. And I think that's not just braces, but my bite is so off now. I started off with an overbite and now my bite is like this. It's very off because obviously it's, it's being adjusted. So trying to chew with that kind of bite is very awkward and I'm practically swallowing all of my food, um, which is giving me indigestion. <laughs> leading on to other issues so yeah um so ulcers not being able to eat properly not being able to eat what you want mm, okay it's not such an issue for me because all of the foods that they listed in there you can't eat these foods I don't really eat anyway so that's not such an issue for me but the not being able to eat even soft foods that is quite an issue for me because you have to eat something right so yeah trying to to maintain a healthy um diet and healthy weight throughout braces and now i know why people joke about the braces diet and that you're going to lose weight during braces that's probably why so the other things are that i don't really find get mentioned a lot to braces wearers is the fact that you're going to get a really bad dry mouth um especially during the night and for me it was always normal to take a glass of water to bed with me that's just something that I've always done and I would probably drink a little sip or two if I woke up if not okay whatever you know now I'm having to drink nearly the whole glass of water because if I don't then what happens is your cheeks the inside of your cheeks get stuck to your brackets and you literally have to pull your cheeks off from your brackets and then obviously the skin comes off with it it happened to me once and it was a traumatic experience let me just say that it's dramatic it sounds dramatic but it was pretty traumatic i woke up and i must have been in a really deep sleep that night because i hadn't had a drink all night and this side of my cheek was totally stuck to my molar band and I had to pull it off and the skin came off and there was loads of blood in my mouth and oof, it was just awful and it left me with a really big cut um, in this inside of my cheek that took weeks weeks to heal so definitely when you have braces you have to bear in mind that you have to literally wake yourself up to make sure that you are drinking that you are staying hydrated and that goes not just the night time but all the way throughout the day you're going to find that your lips are going to be cracked and dry um your mouth is going to get really dry quick even like if you're if you've got like a a job where you have to talk a lot or whatever or just talking in general it dries your mouth out so much more than what it did when I didn't have my braces so just keep really hydrated and make sure your lips don't get stuck um sorry your cheeks don't get stuck to your braces <laughs> because that's not fun at all um the other thing is is just overall overall um discomfort jaw ache on and off um really bad sensitive teeth um and just 
you just know that your teeth are moving, okay? There's just no other way around it. You know that your teeth are moving. You can feel your teeth are moving. You can feel the heaviness and the pressure. And yeah, it's... Honestly, guys, I'm only three and a half months in and I don't know if any of this is going to get better. Please drop in the comments if any of you have experienced it to this level. If any of you braces wearers who are in the later stages, tell me, please, is it going to get better? Is it going to stay like this? Um, I really, I'm intrigued to know. Um, but as far as my teeth are going, they are moving at quite a fast rate which obviously is a very positive thing, but it also comes with the downside of it being very sensitive, very sore. So that's currently what I am dealing with. Um, and yeah, I've been in pain for a lot of pain for three weeks now. So that's, that's been, that's been not so fun. It's probably been the worst part in the whole three and a half months of, have, of having braces, to be honest. It's been the painfulest time for me so far. So I'm hoping the dentist said that it will come and go now um, because obviously the pressure is going to stay there for years. Um, the only thing is, is as my teeth straighten out more and go into their final positions, it will be less moving. It will be less movement. So maybe I will get some relief from the sensitivity and the discomfort then. But at the moment, the dentist thinks that the only thing I can do is I can buy, there's various foams and gels and stuff you can buy from Amazon, Boots, um, Superdrug, places like that, where you leave the foam on or the gel on your teeth and then you wipe it off after 10 minutes and it's supposed to really calm down the sensitivity. I haven't ordered any of that yet. Um, I'm finding that, I'm finding my own ways without kind of using any medication or anything. I'm finding that drinking lukewarm water um, instead of cold water really helps. Drinking warm drinks. Um, and not too extreme hot and not too extreme cold, just kind of everything has to be kind of in the middle. And that goes for my food as well. Like if I bite into something piping hot, that's gonna cause all of the pain again. If same, if I drink something really cold or eat something really cold, I can't do it. Everything has to be in the middle, kind of lukewarm food and drink. So that's kind of how I'm managing my sensitivity at the moment without going to pain meds and gels and all of this stuff, which is just more money because, you know, there's these little hidden costs that you don't realise, but there are quite a lot that, that, that build up. Um, so I don't want to add any more at the moment to that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just keeping to soft foods and um stick into my sensodyne toothpaste and keep into the lukewarm food and drink and so far it's getting a lot better like i'm not in that pain where i'm reaching for the pain meds or anything anymore um i just get sharp nerve pain every now and then um at random moments but um other than that it's going well um and my next tightening is in two weeks time I think two or three weeks time. So bracing myself for that because that's going to be extra, extra painful this time <laughs> um, because of the added sensitivity. Obviously, I will tell my ortho before he starts um, to be extra gentle. Um, yeah, I don't even want to think about going for that third tightening, guys. I really don't. I'm, I'm dreading it. Um, but I will update you all then. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to just put this video, I don't want it to be a negative video or like a Debbie Downer kind of thing. Like everything's gone wrong because it hasn't. Everything is going right actually. Um, but just, you know, you find there are gonna be little bumps in the journey and there's gonna be times where it's not all fun. Um, and that's obviously, it's gonna it's gonna happen right it's 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 a lot of adjustment for your jaw for your teeth for your mouth to make 
and so far I'm very happy with the progress. Um, I will just zoom you in and show you my teeth because it's been three weeks since I actually showed you. So these are my teeth. And this is my bite. So really, I'd say on the top, this is all straight. Just this gut who needs to close and this tooth is kind of, I don't know, in a weird position. Um, it needs to go into position. This tooth is moving nicely over. It's almost completely over. No sign on the gaps. I think that's going to close much, much later. Um, and this tooth that was completely twisted the wrong way has completely gone into such a lovely position. And these three teeth are making me look like a goat or a donkey, I don't know. Comment down below what I look like, a goat or a donkey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're protruding too much out, uh, basically. So hoping on my next tightening, it will push those three teeth back because as I'm talking I'm very conscious of my bottom teeth um but yeah by the way guys I'm gonna get the same color pink next time as well I am in love with this color it's like it looks really light on the camera but in certain lights it's a little bit darker but it's not so dark that it's so so noticeable do you know what i mean because i don't like colors that are too vibrant because i don't know i'm not a teenager you know i'm 27 so i don't want to look too childish i guess um but yeah i find this color really nice and soft and really wearable it hasn't even changed color um or got dull or faded or turned i don't know a strange color from food it's stayed exactly the same color and it's looking lovely I'm gonna get this color next time I love it way better than the blue I think me personally that's what I think anyway so yeah that's it for today's video guys I will update again um, about my braces when it comes to the time of my appointment and tomorrow I've got a different video coming out, completely different, nothing to do with my teeth or my braces for once, um, completely different um, and I will be dropping that tomorrow for you all. So I hope you have a lovely day and uh, I will catch up with all of you again very very soon. Thank you for watching.